All right, new phone, flagship from Samsung, the market leaders, and it's S9 time, and S9 Plus, the larger brother with the dual lens setup. What's the name of this color, what I have in front of me here? Titanium gray, it's never just gray. Now I know it also comes in a kind of lavender color. Is it midnight black? And then there's a blue as well, right? Coral blue, I actually kind of like this one. I was trying to put fingerprints on it. I feel like they show up a little less than on the black color. At this point, you probably saw a couple videos on these, but you were like, you know what? I gotta see Lou's video. I wanna see what he's saying. I wanna see how he feels. Obviously this device, it's a bit of an iteration on the last one. There's no overhaul happening here. That's okay though. I used the S8 for a very long time. It's a comfortable hold. It's a nice little size. But here's the thing. In the meantime, in the past year or so, the competition in this marketplace, I mean, it's kind of changed to compel you to spend your extra dollars. No price increase here. In fact, depending on how you purchase these and which carrier you purchase them from, um, you might actually see a price reduction. I take that as a response to what's happening in the marketplace and the quality you can get at lower price points. Couple things about this device that I like straight away, the movement of the fingerprint sensor underneath the camera lens, something I complained about on the last one. What ends up happening? You end up putting your finger in many cases on the camera lens and smudging it up. Sometimes manufacturers listen, you can see the evidence right here. Other than this, you'd be hard pressed, place an S8 beside Inside this S9 and really tell it. Actually, we have an S8. Will, could you grab? They're very similar in appearance. Now, that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. And from the back, the movement of the fingerprint scan. Better spot, easier to reach. The speaker grill, which looks different now. The single channel opening there. On the old one, the grill looked a bit different. The reasoning for this is an improvement in the audio performance of the speaker. So Samsung acquires Harman Kardon and uh, the thinking there, an improvement in audio performance from the speaker unit, firing audio from this location as well as on the bottom. All the rest of the stuff that you love is here. The headphone jack is here. USB type C, it's here. The SIM tray with expandable SD card storage. Who doesn't like expandable storage? Who doesn't like options? Display, OLED, very pleasing to the eye. It's curved edge. I'm still a little bit undecided on whether or not I'm completely sold on that idea because when you're watching content, you lose a little bit of it, right? It wraps around the edge, which looks cool, but does it, do you enjoy content more or is, is it just a novelty factor? I'm not 100% decided on that. Recently, I've been using the Pixel 2 XL a lot. Now, Everybody knows this is not the greatest display in the world. And you can kind of see how the white is represented a little differently. I think it's kind of interesting having this phone out compared to this one. These are both 850 bucks. These things are competing head to head. One of the main reasons this remains in my pocket is the incredible camera. That brings me to the camera on the S9 Plus. For the first time ever has a variable aperture. F1.5 or F2.4? F1.5, F2.4. Conor McGregor figurine here. This is F1.5, so the plant in the background's a little bit more blurred out compared to F2.4. I think for most of you, this comes into play just in low light situations. If you need more light, it'll trigger the larger aperture. The portrait mode as well, which I tested earlier, this is actually a wide selfie mode. There's a front camera wide angle selfie, and it's guessing via software where the edge of the foreground or the subject in the foreground is. But as you can see, it did a pretty good job. There's Mo right there, let's see here. Edge recognition around his beard is pretty good as well. I think this one, it stacks up kind of nicely as of right now against the Pixel 2 XL. It's also got this super slow mo mode, can shoot up to 960 frames per second. So you tap the record button to start a recording and the slow motion starts when something moves within this square. 960 FPS is pretty wild. Look at that flame. It's not crazy high resolution, 720p. It's a nice little gimmick. You put that on social media and it's like, what are you doing? How'd you do it? It's, it looks cool, so yeah. Now, what about the speaker in general here? My phone is huge now. We're gonna listen to that in a sec. See, if I try to cover up the audio on the bottom, I'm still getting it through the earpiece here. I wanna grab the old S8 over here. It does sound better. It ain't Razer phone territory. It's a little more full. It's a little more pleasing, okay? Look at the options in video mode. It's unbelievable. UHD, UHD 60 FPS. You go up to 4K 60 FPS. That's pretty cool. I mean, we might as well. So this should be 4K stabilized. Pick up this guy right here. 
Ooh, it is nice and stable. You see the uh, fingerprint nightmare. I have a solution for that in a moment. Of course, we pan around. We see the squad, we see Jack over there. You know, what's the take? What's the takeaway here? I told you earlier, I used the S8 extensively. Takeaway for me is pricing. I'm really interested in the pricing component. You guys know that. If you watch my videos, I'm looking for value. You go to work, you work hard for your money. So I'm gonna treat you right. Do these devices, as of right now, do they justify the cost. You're in the territory of the Google Pixel products. If you're gonna compete with the Pixel, then you gotta bring the top-notch camera because that's one of the reasons a lot of people are picking Pixel. You're gonna get the fastest updates if you're on the official Google hardware. I mean, there's no other way around it. The fit and finish here, quality. The glass back, I'm not such a big fan. Of course, you get the wireless charging with it. Kind of sacrifice appearance once you start to get fingerprints on it. Look at this. So you have some options. All right, you go with a case or you go with a skin. Check that out. That is the brand new D brand camo skin. And uh, you can probably tell no fingerprints. Plus it like has this cool shifting effect depending on the lighting. I mean, I don't care which phone you have. So if you want the black camo, you're gonna have to head over there. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna run out. I, I mean, I hope not but anyhow like look at that that's kind of cool for me personally i don't know if this thing can really displace the, the pixel in my pocket can the wireless charging get me back the variable aperture maybe i use this a little bit more and i'm just like wow that's gold i can't live without it the audio probably not enough for me right now the improvement there it's tough at the moment i'm a little bit undecided but I'm intrigued. I think this phone has a real chance to be a major player in something that I could, uh, could really recommend. But right now, I'm skeptical. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. You're probably wasting time with your shave goods. You're going to the supermarket, looking through the shelf, you don't know what you need, and then once you finally select it, you're probably paying too much. Well, with Dollar Shave Club, you save time because it just shows up at your front door, so you're always using sharp blades and not trying to get extra use out of the old one with the ingrown hairs. It's no good. Now, you might not be able to tell the glorious beard and whatnot, but every so often, I gotta shape it up a little bit. Listen, you're tech savvy. You use the internet. Why are you still wasting time heading to the supermarket or the drugstore for your razors. It's just not cool. Now the promo right now for Unbox Therapy viewers is this kit right here, okay? This is the trial kit, which comes with a little bit of everything. You get the executive handle. That's a robust handle. You get a bunch of razor blades to keep you sharp through the month. And then inside this kit over here, you get even more. You get the one wipe Charlie's, aloe vera, civilized way to wipe, shave butter, as well as the body cleanser. All right, so next time you're standing in there in front of the mirror you're looking a little disheveled you need a touch up maybe you need a clean shave all together and then you stare down and you see that disgusting razor that's sitting on the countertop i want you to remember this dollarshaveclub.com slash unbox therapy five bucks for all this to get started the trial kit is too easy